seconds of fake gains I spark flames in the dark where the pain reigns I don't march to the chart or the paid lanes I carve names in the scars with a brain Shine flame Everything you have just seen has been created with one click only. And this is what I want to show you today. The launch of the beta for the one click story function on open art because this can make it very easy to create pretty cool content. And even though this is launching today, I already found a workaround for you to make it even better and more fun. Also, I want to point out at this point, this is a sponsored video and I do these very rarely. The reason why I took this on as a sponsorship is because I know the founders of the company for a long time. I've worked with them in the past and I actually want to help them improve their tools. So. This is why I wanted to do that because it's kind of like friends. So let's get started with that video. Let's look at an extended version of that music video. Word to the wise when you die for the prize, you might drown in the lies in the televised highs. Rather vibe with the broke with the smoke in the skies than a guy with a black and no soul in my eyes. I don't floss fake chains or fake gains. I spark flames in the dark where the pain reigns. I don't march to the chart or the paid lanes. I carve names in the scars with a brain. I just chase the flame Catch a breath, count the steps Stay ahead of the game This is my life, this is my creed so after you have seen that video, one thing that stands out is, of course, yes, the characters consistent in all the different scenes and that's amazing, but you can already do that. But the even better thing here is that you upload the music and maybe an image of the character you want to have in there and then it will create all of these scenes lip sync for you and cut them together so that the lip sync lines up with the music. And that is not so easy to do, but this tool does it again with just one click. Let's look at the second example here about a travel video. Discover the top five cities to visit in Asia. Number one, Tokyo, a dazzling metropolis where tradition meets innovation. Number two, Bangkok, a vibrant city famed for its street food and golden temples. Number three, Singapore, a futuristic city state blending lush greenery with modern architecture. Number four, Hong Kong, a dynamic hub where East meets West against a stunning waterfront. Number five, Seoul, a city of rich history, cutting edge culture and cozy street markets. Pack your bags and embark on an unforgettable Asian adventure. So again, as you have seen, this has created multiple scenes. Now, the important thing here to point out is this has created the prompts, the images, the videos mixed everything together with the music and made it into a finished video. So you don't have to think about anything. Basically, the only thing you have to say is make me a cool video about five different cities in Asia and boom, it goes and does all that for you. Let's look at another video that is more in the meme area. Now again, as you've seen, we have different cool scenes here. We have a consistent character, lots of fun stuff going on. Again, all of that has been created by one click. The different ideas for the scenes, the images, the action that's going on in the video, mixing everything together, all of that. You don't have to care about any of that. You just click on that and say, I want to have a video with that character doing some fun things and boom. It's creating that for you. Now let's check out on the website how this actually works. Okay, so on the left side, you can see the one click story beta. And when you click on that, you come to this page here where you have multiple functions. You can make a character vlog that is kind of like a story that you can create. Then you can make a music video where you can upload music or you can use music that they suggest to you or you can link music from Suno. So there's different options to get that music in there. And then you can also have an explainer video where you don't have to explain what it actually is. Like I said before with the cities, you can just say, make me a cool video about the five best cities or make me a video about five healthy food groups, things like that. And then 
have the video created for you. So let's have a look on how that actually looks. Let's click here on character vlog. And this is opening up that section here. Now they have some community characters down here that you can use to experiment with that. You can, by the way, also train your own characters. If you, if you have trained a character on open art, it will show up here, but you can also simply upload an image. For example, in that case, let's upload the image of a cute red cat. And then I'm going to write here Mia as the name of the cat. And we're going to click here on create character. It doesn't do any training because this is using flux context to create these images. Now down here you can select from different suggestions and when you click on that as you can see the prompts that they use are very simple. For example Mia is making pizza in the kitchen. Now you can do something similarly easy. So for example I'm gonna say Mia is exploring a Thai temple. Below that you have the aspect ratio. Right now it's 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. Sometimes with humanoid characters I think you get more consistent results with 16 by 9 and 9 by 16 can create sometimes errors in the videos but you can rerun the videos multiple times to correct these errors if you want to. That's just like a heads up so you know what's going on. Now below that you can choose the background music. For that you have multiple choices. Either you let it auto select which picks from a list of songs that they have already created for you or you can link a Suno music that you have created. Probably more services are coming in the future. You can also upload a song if it's from another site or you have a song of your own or a song that you have the license to use for. You can upload it here and then you can also pick from their songs. So when I click on that, I have a list here. When I mouse over that list, it's going to preview that music for me. Okay, so after you have clicked on one of these songs to select them, you have advanced settings down here, but usually you don't need to touch them. But I want to show you anyway. So when you click on that, you have your selection of the image generation. In this case, it's Flux Context. If you want to, you can also choose other sources, but I think Flux Context works pretty well, especially because you want to use the character from the image you've uploaded. And then over here, you can also choose from different video models. It often chooses automatically Kling 2.1 standard. And you can also use Kling 2.1 Pro. This gives a resolution of 720p, but the quality is pretty good as you've seen before. And you have choices from other models also for the image generation. And that is everything you have to do. At that point, you simply click here on Create Story and that's it. And then just wait until it's finished. Now, after the video has been generated, you have this kind of overview here, which allows you to share the video to different pages or download it. You can also, of course, download it right away or delete the video. Here you can see in this case, I actually used a longer prompt that I have been generated by Chat GPT. And then below that, and that's the important part here, this is edit the story. Edit the story actually brings you to a very nice timeline first. So here you can see the videos that have been used. You can also see the images that have been used and the music or the voice if there is voice in your video. So you can choose from them and you can rearrange these things in the timeline. The interesting thing also here is if you have a video and you don't like it, you can click here on retry video and it's going to render this video again so that you get a second try if there is a problem in the video. So that is pretty nice. What you can also do is to click on the storyboard up here. Now with the storyboard, you see here specifically the prompts that have been generated for you and the image that resulted from that prompt. And then you can also see the prompt that has been used to generate that video and the video that has been resulting from that. And you can retry the image and you can retry the video. So let's actually click here on retry image. 
So as you can see here, I regenerated the image. The cat is standing now a little bit more to the side and that should give me a better animation also. And here it's warning me that the image has been updated. So do I want to create a new matching clip for that? And then I can click here on retry video, which I already did and it's rendering the new video for us. And there we have the new video with our beautiful cat walking towards the camera. So that's pretty cool. And it means also that you have control over how the scene is going to look. By the way, one thing I also want to point out here is that you can, of course, edit the prompt and you, of course, also can edit the prompt over here if you want to have something completely different or just adjust the prompt to get something better as a result. And another thing you can do here is you can see you have your plus sign. So when you click on that, you can actually add a new scene. You can upload an image if you want to and you can also describe the image and render it and then create a video from that so that you can add to the scenes or exchange scenes that you don't like. So that is very useful. When we return to the timeline, you can actually also see that this has updated the scene that we have generated. Now, to be honest, down here, there was a scene I didn't quite like because the cat was standing on the water. Now, you can do it in here, as you've seen, and that's quite a possibility, but I want to show you a workaround that also works very well. So what I did instead is that I went to their normal image generation page. Here, you can choose from all kinds of different models to generate the image you want to have. And then you can, of course, also use Flux Context to create the character image in the same way. You have here, of course, all kinds of different settings. You have here also image to image rendering. You can choose the ratio you can choose the amount of images you want to render at one time. So this might actually make it a little bit faster for you and give you maybe a little bit more control of what you want to generate. And once you've found an image you like, like for example, this image here, up here you have a button for image to video. And when you click on that, this is actually going to load their video generation page. Again, here we have Kling 2.1. The image is already loaded for you. You can write a prompt if you want to and then simply click on create down here. Of course, you can also choose the different versions like standard pro or even master if you want to. So here after just one click, I have this video, which I really like and I want to use that. So in that case, you can download the video here and then simply go over to the timeline. You click here on videos, you click here on add and there you can upload the video. You can also generate videos here by the way, but this is a little bit easier on the other page with more choices. So you can upload the video here. And once you have that, as you can see, you have my video here. I can simply drag that down into the timeline and now I have it here and I can delete other things I don't want to have in here. And just like that, I can generate the videos that I want to have and get the results I want. And after you've done all of this, you can click up here on save and it's going to save that project for you. And of course, you can also share this. And in that case, it's going to re-render the full video for you so that everything is just one click all together with that music and the different scenes in there. So you can share it online or download it or do whatever you want with that. So all in all, this is a pretty cool beta and it's a very nice concept with the one click to create that full video and you get often very cool results. One thing I want to suggest to you is to be playful about that, not to be too specific and then you get actually better results because you know AI has its own mind and also there's gonna be new really amazing functions and features coming soon to improve that over time. So I think down the line this is gonna be a really amazing tool and now you know it. Maybe you want to try it out. Leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think about that and thank you very much for watching this video. Bye!